Um, so our next panel is on, on multi-faithism, multiculturalism and citizenship. It will look into problems related to conflation of people, religions, and the reli religion rights, and why multiculturalism and multi-faithism un undermines uh, notions of citizenship. Um, our chair for this session is Rumi Hassan, who's the author, who's the senior lecturer at the University of Sussex, and the author of the Dangerous Lizations, the clash between Islamism and Dionism, um, and the author of Multiculturalism and Some in Inconvenient Truths. Our panelists uh, include Ali Salim, who spent six years in the Islamic school, in an Islamic school in Britain, and now campaigns for secular education. Chris Moose. Chris Moose, who's a, who's a secular student activist, and who's led a successful campaign for the removal, for, for the right to wear Jesus and Moo t-shirts, and have received lots of threats because of that. Tariq Hargi uh, is the director of the Muslim Education Center of Oxford and Imam of the, Muslim, uh, of the Oxford Islamic um, Congregation. And next up we have Elham Manea, who is a Yemeni associate professor specializing in the Middle East, a writer and a human rights activist. Her concept of humanistic Islam was first published in a series of articles in Arabic. So welcome, Elham. They'll shortly be up here, obviously. And then we also have Kenan Malik, who is a writer, lecturer, and broadcaster, a presenter of BBC Radio 4's analysis, and a panelist on the moral maze. His book, From Fatwa to Jihad, was shortlisted for the Orwell Prize. And then you get a second share of Mariam Haley Lucas, um, who is an Algerian sociologist, a founder and former international coordinator of the Women Living Under Muslim Laws. She's also the founder of Secularism is a Women's Issue. Good to know. So please welcome, please welcome Ruby Hassan yeah. and the panelists to the stage. Hello, everyone. Thanks for the uh, marvelous uh, in introduction. Uh, as we, we have some marvelous uh, and important speakers on on, on this uh, on this panel. Uh, what I propose to do is actually to run run the panel in the order that they're given in, in the conference uh, program. Now, we are running very short of time. As you know, this panel is due to start at 4.20, and I've been told uh, I'm under a three-line whip to finish this at 6 p.m. So ordinarily, each panel had 10 minutes. So if I could really stress on panelists to finish within 10 minutes, and if you can, maybe within eight, so we can have some time uh, for, for discussions.